Today, we're gonna look at how to quickly pull off a pupil shrinking or dilating within After Effects. And if you're not already, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can can be notified. That's that's the actual that's what it, that's what it um that's what it does. Let's do it. So this is the shot we're gonna be working with today, which is uh, our actor, Keith, his eyeball. As you can see, he uh, opens his eyes, and that's it. Um, and before we get into the effect, which is a really easy effect, it's awesome just how simple it is, um, I just wanna say that we filmed this with the uh, Venus Optic uh, Leoa, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, 24 millimeter macro probe lens. We got it off borrowlenses.com, great deal not a sponsor i'm just going to throw that out there in case anybody wants to use that lens or any other lens that they're looking to use one thing i noticed about this lens is that the depth of field is so small especially when you don't have a lot of light to work with so we have to uh, bring down the f-stop just look right here we have the his eyelashes are in focus and his eyeball is completely out of focus why am i saying this in the tutorial video because if you decide to get this lens rent it just be aware that that depth of field is crazy. So let's go ahead and get into it. Austin, please shut up. You got it. Thank you for telling me that. All right, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do with our shot is to stabilize the motion. So just make sure our uh, video is selected. We can see the tracker right here. If you don't see this tracker little uh, window, see these little two arrows up to the right of libraries? Click that and make sure we're selected on the motion tracking uh, workspace. If that is the case, then tracker will be right there. So make sure our footage is selected and click track, I mean stabilize motion. And you'll see a tracking point comes up. So what we can do is we have this little light flare right here. And if we select this smaller one, we can just track that and that would be great. So come back over to your tracker window and just hit play forward or analyze forward. So we it tracked all the way through. So now we have to get this last little section right here and if we just analyze one frame at a time um, you can see he's starting to shut his eye because he's opening it and eventually we're not seeing that light anymore so what we can do is is we can move the track just guess um, right there seems good and then just go to the end of your shot uh, technically the beginning and then just move your track you can see how there's this pattern of these are all the track points so it's going here then here then here then here and just move it up to about right here Basically, this stabilization effect that we're giving is only going to be really uh, noticeable when his eyes opened up. So when his eyes shut like this, you're just seeing his eyelid. Um, it's fine that it's not perfect. So when we have that, just come over here, hit apply, and then this will come up, um, and then you just hit OK. And what we can see now is the image is now stabilized to the eyeball. So the eyeball is not moving within our frame now, which is good because originally it was jittery, it was kind of shaky. If you were playing this on a big screen, it might be a little nauseating to the audience. With that happening, we're also getting some cutoff at the bottom on the sides a little, which is fine because we're going to have to scale this image up anyway to make the eyeball dead center because that's what I want. So if we select our footage, hit S, and then just scale it up, let's say 115. And then you can see now we're not getting any of that cutoff. And I also want to adjust the image, bring it more a little bit over here to get the eyeball a little more centered. This helps just with the audience again. Uh, anything center frame, our eyes are going to see it right away. Um, and now, and yeah, that looks great because I'm filming. I, I'll get you in a minute, okay? okay. Look, you, I'll, I'll come get you when I'm done, all right? So next thing, we're gonna right mouse click in our uh, timeline area, uh, click new, adjustment layer. And yeah, so we're going to now add the bulge effect to our adjustment layer. So right mouse click on it, effect, it'll be under distort, and then bulge, bulge. And you can see with this effect now, we have a little circle that has appeared on our footage. And that little circle represents the area of which it will be bulging. So let's get to the part where he opens his eyes. And now let's take this circle, you can see the four squares around it. And we can now adjust the size and then move it as well. Let's make sure that this is our center point right here is pretty center with our pupil. 
And what we're going to do now is see this bulge height. That's the main tool we're going to be using. We're not going to use anything else. And you can see how uh, when we go up, it goes up. When we go down, it's shrinking down. And you'll know in the effect what we did is we had the pupil expand it and then shrink it down. So let's make sure that this is on zero, our bulge height. Let's go to where we want it to begin with this effect. So let's just hit play. Right there, I think is good. So let's keyframe it. Now let's bring it up to 1.2. So then we have that keyframe. Select the adjustment layer. Hit U to see your keyframes. And then let's go ahead three spaces, three frames. And now let's bring it down back to zero. All right, so now we have that little effect right there. Boom, boom. So with the bulge height selected, we can click our graph editor right here. And you'll see here we have uh, this line. Now this right here is the value graph. So this is representing uh, the bulge height at 1.2 and then it moves with the keyframe to uh, zero. We don't want that, we want the speed graph to affect the speed of which this movement is happening. So if we select, uh, it says choose graph type and options, it's right here to the right of the eyeball down here. And then we select edit speed graph. Now we have our speed graph. So you can see the speed is the exact same because it's a straight line. So we take this last keyframe and we drag it here so the speed is zero. It will now be smooth to the end. And if we take this anchor point and we pull it out, you're going to have a nice quickness at the beginning and smooth out at the end. So let's just see how that plays. It's very subtle because it is only three frames, but it does give that nice little, a little bit better. Also, comment below if you enjoy the way I explain things with sound effects or would you rather me Google words uh, to learn to explain it. <clears throat> so the last thing that we need to fix is you can see the bulge effect is still applied even when his eye is shut and that is not good. So we put the effect in an adjustment layer um, because you may, when you're doing your shot, you may need to mask it. So we might had to put a mask around his eyeball with the um, bulge effect and then as the eyeballs opening you know we would move the mask up with the eyeball to then reveal that bulge effect um, that's placed on his uh, iris so that's one way to do it however for this particular shot we don't need to do that because he opens his eyes so quickly we can actually just bring the bulge effect to zero so if we put the bulge effect, let's uh, put it to zero right here at the beginning. So we have a keyframe right at the very beginning, it's zero. And if we actually go ahead in time, right when he opens his eyes, right there, it will be good. Let's copy and paste our keyframe from over here, which is the 1.2 keyframe. So copy, control C, control V. And then the frame right before that, let's move our keyframe from the beginning right there. So it's completely zero, and then boom, we have our bulge effect. But yeah, I hope that helped with whatever project you're working on with right now. And uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any other tutorials or any other just good content of, of film-related content, you know? Cool beans.